Indeed, it's a very serious situation for Pakistan in the sense that we have seen a significant upsurge in TTP attacks in Pakistan uh, over the last year or so, particularly since the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan, trying to act as, uh, you know, as the Taliban uh, did in Afghanistan, trying to win hearts and minds. Indeed, it is uh, a table-turning uh, situation in the sense that, indeed, for many years, both India and Afghanistan were concerned about um, uh, terrorists on Pakistani soil, sponsored uh, at times by uh, by the Pakistani state. And indeed, now Pakistan is having to face this uh, this challenge on its own. Hi, you're watching Hindustan Times and I'm Aditi Prasad. Today we are joined by Michael Kugelman, the Deputy Director of the Asia Programme at the, Wilson, uh, at the Wilson Center, based out of Washington, of course. Uh, Michael is a leading specialist on Afghanistan, India and Pakistan and their relations with the United States. There was a time when we saw India complaining to Pakistan about letting terror groups operate on their soil. But now it seems that the table has turned a full circle um, and uh, uh, it's Pakistan complaining to Afghanistan about terror groups on their soil and presenting them with evidence and so on and so forth. How do you view this turning of the tables in South Asia? Right. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Uh, indeed, it is uh, a table turning uh, situation in the sense that indeed for many years, both India and Afghanistan uh, were concerned about um, uh, terrorists on Pakistani soil sponsored uh, at times by uh, by the Pakistani state. And indeed, now Pakistan is having to face this uh, this challenge on its own. And indeed, it's a very serious situation for Pakistan in the sense that we have seen a significant upsurge in TTP attacks in Pakistan uh, over the last year or so, particularly since the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan. Though I would argue that um, the resurgence of the TTP far predates the Taliban retake over in Afghanistan. I think you have to go back to uh, several years back when the TTP got a new leadership. And one of the first things that that new leadership did was it brought back a number of brutal TTP factions that had split off. The new leadership brought back a lot of these powerful groups, which made the group uh, stronger immediately. And of course, it continued to strengthen and it was particularly emboldened after the Taliban takeover in, Af in Afghanistan. The attacks don't seem to be, you know, one thought that the attacks would be perhaps uh, the TTP attacks were focused on the tribal bears, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's in most of the country, really. Uh, it's uh, the Khyber uh, Bakhtunwa province, of course, uh, not only that, but also in Balochistan, um, uh, the Punjab town of Miyawari, which borders the Khyber Bakhtunwa province, and also in the Sindh province, uh, just about a week ago, heavily armed Taliban terrorists attacked the police chief's office in, in, in Karachi. Now, um, the TTP clearly gaining a lot of traction in recent times. I mean, I get your point that uh, the, their rise predates the coming back of the Taliban to power. But the last several several months have been really brutal. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that when the Taliban uh, retook power in Afghanistan, uh, that uh, galvanized the TTP in the sense that the TTP saw the success, the great success that the Taliban enjoyed in Afghanistan. And I think it energized the TTP and made it want to, made it want to carry out something similar in Pakistan. Now, certainly the TTP does not have the capacity to do that in Pakistan, but certainly uh, it's uh, the, the last few months have been particularly brutal. I guess the last year or plus, but certainly the last few months. And go back a few months to when the TTP announced that it was formally um, ending a ceasefire that had signed with the Pakistani state. In reality, it hadn't been obeying that ceasefire to start with. But after it formally announced that it was going to uh, end that ceasefire, its tactics changed. Tax after formal, uh, formally reneging on the ceasefire. And indeed, we've seen, as you noted, uh, a number of attacks uh, outside of the country's west. There was actually a, a TTP attack in Islamabad, uh, a, a one that uh, targeted police. And indeed, there was one that targeted um, uh, you know, the police chief's office in Karachi recently. I was actually in Karachi at the time. And I think that really unsettled many in Pakistan. I think for, for many across the country, there's this sense of here we go again, because as you know, for a terrible period between 2007 and about 2014, Pakistan was utterly convulsed by TTP terror. Um, things had gotten better for a number of years, 
but now we're seeing this resurgence and i think there's concerns many are concerned that the ttp is trying to return to what it did in the past but final note on that that the group's tactics have changed in the sense that it is targeting most of its attacks are targeting security forces police uh, and army at this point at least it's not directly targeting civilians as much as it had in its previous iteration that's trying to rebrand itself uh, interestingly but let's not be fooled and i think it's clear that uh, this is a group that continues to have the capacity and, and at the end of the day probably the desire uh, to, to target many different types of uh, uh, of targets not just security forces but that is security forces do appear to be its main uh, target at this point but i think the ttp it's trying to draw support uh from among the pakistani uh, population it's trying to act as uh, you know as the taliban uh, did in afghanistan trying to win hearts and minds and so on and for the ttp that entails saying well look we're not going to target civilians the ttp has also been minimizing its links to international terror groups like al-qaeda uh and and its ilk but the ttp is also uh emphasized though certainly we shouldn't take them at their word the ttp has emphasized that they no longer um uh, pose an international threat that their fight is uniquely focused on pakistan they actually have issued statements saying they no longer uh, threaten the united states so this is all part of this rebranding effort in order to draw more support and you know keep in mind that this is not completely new we have seen in in previous years the ttp for example try to uh draw on public support by uh by trying to uh, coerce the electricity utility in Karachi to restore electricity when electricity has been cut this happened during a terrible heat wave in Karachi some years ago and the TTP threatened to attack the 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 uh, public utility if electricity wasn't restored so it's this effort to try to play this 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 Robin Hood type uh uh type game but I, I mean it's 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 rather absurd because the TTP is clearly one of the most dangerous terrorist groups uh in the world and that hasn't changed even if it's trying to rebrand itself